Why the brave Libyan Muslim resistance leader, Omar Mukhtar, was hanged by the hands of Italian forces. In the heart of the Libyan desert, a tale of courage, resistance, and liberation unfolds. This is the story of Omar al-Mukhtar, a man who became a legend. It is our duty to God to defend ourselves against those who have driven us out of our homes. Join us on a journey through the life of a lion, a man whose indomitable spirit inspired a nation and left an enduring legacy. Our story begins in the late 19th century, in the region of Cyrenaica, under Ottoman rule. It was here that Omar al-Mukhtar was born in 1862. Raised in a devout Muslim family, he imbibed the principles of justice, compassion, and the call for freedom. From a young age, al-Mukhtar's father taught him the ways of his ancestors, instilling in him a deep reverence for the desert and its nomadic traditions. But their world was about to change. In 1911, Italy set its sights on Libya, seeking to establish its colonial dominance over the region. The Italian invasion unleashed a wave of violence and oppression, but it also awakened the spirit of resistance within Omar al-Mukhtar. Al-Mukhtar was a natural leader, his charisma and unwavering determination inspired people from all walks of life to stand up against the Italian occupiers. He understood that a unified front was crucial for the success of the resistance. Al-Mukhtar united tribes and factions, forming a formidable force. I promise you immediate and terrible war. Oh, I know the power of your government, the power you threaten us with. We've stood against you for 20 years. And with the help of God, we will stay with you till your end. Al-Mukhtar's forces, known as the Lion's Men, employed guerrilla warfare tactics. They struck swiftly and faded into the desert, frustrating the Italian occupiers at every turn. Despite facing overwhelming odds, Al-Mukhtar's belief in the righteousness of their cause never wavered. He instilled hope in his fighters and resilience in their hearts. But in 1931, al-Mukhtar's valiant struggle took a tragic turn. He was captured by the Italians, who hoped to extinguish the flame of resistance once and for all. Even in captivity, al-Mukhtar remained a symbol of strength and defiance. His spirit could not be broken, and his courage continued to inspire those around him. We will never surrender. We win or we die. And don't think it stops there. You will have the next generation to fight, and after the next, the next. As for me, I will live longer than my hangman. Omar al-Mukhtar's legacy is etched into the very fabric Libya. His sacrifice and unwavering spirit paved the way for independence. Today, Libya stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of Omar al-Mukhtar. His struggle and ultimate sacrifice continue to inspire generations, reminding us that freedom is worth fighting for. Omar al-Mukhtar, the lion of the desert, will forever be remembered as a symbol of courage, resilience, and the unyielding pursuit of freedom. His story will echo through the sands of time, inspiring all those who hear it.